Hello, John Zimmerman with Tablet Class Math. So I want to go ahead and take a look at this square root problem and the problem states simplify the expression. So for those of you in pre-algebra and algebra one, definitely algebra one, you should be able to uh, knock this problem out, with no problem. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video and see if you can do it real quick, go ahead and give it a quick try. All right, so let's go ahead and get going here. So the question is simplify the expression. So we have the square root of three times the square root of 15. Now, a lot of students think that this question is telling them or the problem is telling them to get your calculator and find the square root of three then, and then with your calculator find the square root of 15 and then multiply them together. Now that would be well, a logical um, you know, approach to it. I can understand why uh, a student would think that that would be okay and in fact that is that's one way of simplifying the expression but what we're really trying to do here is use the properties of square roots to simplify it <clears throat> it would be something like this for example if I give you the fraction 4 over 8 and I said simplify that you typically wouldn't go get your calculator and take 4 and divide it by 8 Okay, then you would come up with 0.5, which is which is fine, but that's not what we're trying to do. What I'm meaning to um, to get you to 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 do here is to reduce this fraction. Okay, so this word simplify that's typically what we're trying to um, um, express when we're come we're talking about math problems. So we have four over eight. Now four over eight, I can simplify that down to two over four. Okay, now that's a simpler version. Uh, 4 over 8, but really the simplest version is 1 half. Okay, so what we're talking about is simplify this expression down to its to its um, base core form. Okay, in this case the fraction 4 over 8 is really the fraction 1 half. So it's the fraction 2 fourths, but we want to fully simplify it. Okay, anyways, <clears throat> didn't want to go off on too much of a tangent there, but it's important that you understand what what to do here because just to uh, mention this one last time, some students think that, that they can use their calculator to change square roots, and it's kind of a common problem. Even with fractions, students like to change their fractions to decimals, etc. Okay, let's go ahead and get to this problem. All right, so the square root of 3 times the square root of 15. The key to doing this problem is knowing that there's a property of square roots that states that when we're multiplying two square roots together, two or more, we can put put this problem into one big square root. So in other words, instead of writing this as a square root of 3 times the square root of 15, I can write it this way. Okay, the square root, one big square root, 3 times 15. Okay, now that really allows me to take the next steps that are going to allow me to be able to simplify this expression. So the next thing we want to do is to get all of our numbers here, these factors, we want to take a look at their prime factors. So 3 is a prime factor. Now 15, let's go to over here for a second. 15 I can write as 3 times 5. Okay, those are the, those are the prime factors of 15. And then of course 1's always a prime factor. So we want to look at numbers in terms of their prime factors. So here I can write 3 times 15 as 3 times 3 times 5, okay? Because this is 15, so this is still 3 times 15. I'm just writing it at, in terms of its prime factors. Okay, now, allow me to do that uh, basically gives me the ability to take a look and see if there's any squares inside the square root. And here, I can write 3 times 3 as 3 squared. Okay, so that's going to be 3 squared times 5. Okay, see where I'm going with this? I have 3 times 3, that's the same thing as 9 or 3 squared. And let's go ahead and just write it this way. 9 times 5. Okay, so you can see here I haven't changed the problem. All of these are equivalent forms of the original problem, but I'm just kind of using these properties and these rules so I can get to a point where I can easily simplify this problem. Now the great thing about this property of taking uh, individual factors of square roots and writing them under one big square root is I can also do that in reverse. So now I have the square root of 9 times 5. I can pull those 
uh, apart. Okay, so I'm going to go the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. We're going to basically do what we did uh, originally, but do it in reverse. Okay, so you can see, or at least hopefully you notice, that the square root of 9 we can write as 3. Okay, so that's going to be 3. Let me go ahead and just write this down a little bit better. 3 times the square root of 5. And now this is the simplest form. Okay, so just a real fast review. What allowed us to uh, simplify this problem was one, you have to know the properties. Okay, and this is just one of uh, multiple rules and properties when it comes to square root. Okay, and then the square roots, excuse me. And then two, you have to know that prime factoring is essential because it's going to allow us to see if there's any uh, perfect squares. Okay, in other words, things that we can find the square root, uh, root of nicely, like the square root of nine, square root of 25, etc. All right, so this is basically an extra practice review problem. Um, you know, if you really need a full lesson, and you and you do need full lessons and a lot of practice uh, with these type of problems, uh, you know, certainly go back and review. And for those of you who are not familiar with uh, my system, uh, please come on over to tabletclass.com. We offer a excellent free demo, and uh, the site's basically homeschool math courses. And we do other things as well, but primarily we focus on middle and high school math. We've got an excellent free demo and fantastic prices and a wonderful value. But anyways, thanks for watching the video, and have a great day.